it's time to have a talk about aphantasia with somebody who's much older, who's known they've had it their entire lives. I'm Robert, I'm 58 years old, and I've known that I've had no pictures in my mind since I was very young. Uh, I see a lot of videos now, a lot of people pitying people with aphantasia, and uh, I find it kind of humorous. Here's my initial take for those who've never uh, experienced aphantasia or someone who has aphantasia who thinks that maybe they have a debilitation. When computers first came out, the Pentium 1 took a picture and pixel by pixel by pixel memorized the, each picture. That's what pick heads do. And that's what I call people who have the disability of having pictures in their head and recalling pictures. Um, pick heads uh, recall a photograph. It's not like we don't recognize everything. We're quick to pe pick people out of crowds. We're quick to recognize paintings or anything, and yet we don't have an image there. So what is that? Um, it's that we have an upgraded processor. I've always thought that my whole life. In movies, I'm the first one to laugh and the crowd laughs after and it's kind of embarrassing because my mind does things in, I want to say, a vector type of processing. We don't pull pixels by pixels. We have a memory that's in another form. We can identify anything. Anything that we've seen, we can identify. Actually, we have a more vivid memory of it. It's just that we can't recall the actual picture. So no, I don't think that it's a disability. I think that it's a benefit. I think it's an upgraded processor. Now, let me tell you some more advantages of having this and not being a pickhead. When you're young, uh, there's a high chance that you were abused, especially if you're religious. Uh, some adult uh, authority figure telling you that if you don't accept, accept something, you're going to burn in hell. There are people who live with that image in their mind, a nun cracking them with a, with a ruler or a relative pulling them aside and saying some horrible things. They have images of those. I couldn't imagine living with those. I kind of think that pickheads mostly have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, because when they close their eyes at night, those pictures come rushing back to them. Every pickhead will tell you, oh, aphantasia people have the, the disability of not being able to see anything in their minds. And if the world was, for lack of a better term, a garden of Eden where everything was perfect, yeah, it might be a disability. But in the world of zombies that we live in, horrible people, uh, the shock news, the hate speak that you're subjected to, the marketing that you're subjected to. Those of us without pictures in our heads, we can get by them. We, we aren't haunted by them every day. Coca-Cola wants to, you to see their logo because 98% of people are pickheads, which means that Random times during the day, your mind will pull up the Coca-Cola symbol just because you saw it in marketing. Those of us without pictures in our heads aren't subject to that kind of abuse. Marketing doesn't work on us like it does on the pick heads. Those of us who don't have pictures in our heads, as I said before, can get past the horror times in our life, which everyone experiences. We can go on to live happy lives. We're well-adjusted where we see the world without the wool pulled over our eyes because when you really think about it, that wool is all those images of the bad things that have happened in your life. No, we're not sociopathic. We're just able to move on because every time we see something, it's like it's seeing it the first time. And I'm telling you, as a married person, it's a great advantage. Every time my wife walks through that door, I love analyzing her face because it's like it's new. 
Now, I could pick my wife out of a crowd from 500 meters. Uh, her face, face is very recognizable to me, but everything is fresh because my mind isn't cluttered with pictures. So if you have aphantasia, that's what they're calling it now, might as well call it aphantastic because it is the best way to live by far. So if you have it, be really happy you have it. You're more adjusted, you're well adjusted. You're able to survive. You're able to love like other people can't love because they're not haunted by a previous boyfriend or girlfriend. You're able to live in the day and every psychiatrist will tell you that living in the now is the most healthy way to live. We don't have the pickhead baggage. We don't have the pickhead horror stories in our minds that play like videos over and over. Actually, I, I can go to horror movies and I can kind of laugh because it's, it's not something that stays with me. I can, ooh, and then I can get on with my life. Other people live that haunted nightmare for the rest of their life. Wow. Why would you want to be like that? Just be happy. You're like us. No pictures in our head. Just a faster processor. Just a processor that can recognize things faster than the pickheads. Just a processor that can look at a day like it's a new day without having to reflect on anything negative from their past. Aphantasia. It's a genetic superiority and a better way to live. So take it from an old person with no pictures in their head. I've had a great life. And I've known about it my whole life. The pickheads are now studying us and saying, oh, these poor people, they don't see pictures. That's not really true. We do see pictures. Oh, one of the studies that I saw was very interesting. They say that of the, uh, uh, of the people with no pictures in their head, part of them say that they dream in pictures. And I wanted to clarify that for the pickhead doctors. We don't dream in pictures. But we can imagine a picture. It's not the same as visualization. It's a, how do I say, kind of an ethereal drawing of an area of, of, a, of a background, of a, like a gaming platform. We can draw that in our heads. So it's not a picture. It's not a visualization. It's an imagination of a realm. And that's why our dreams are fantastic. Our dreams are totally controlled by us because we really do create them. It's not an image that jumps back to us in a dream. This is something that we think about during our sleep. So, once again, take it from an old guy. You've got the, you've got the genetic change that makes you superior, and I don't want to make you act like you're superior to other people. Just know you have an advantage and enjoy it. Don't ever think of aphantasia as a disadvantage. That's just silly thinking. Silly thinking by pickheads. Have a good life.